Once again, all fellow geeks and comic enthusiasts, uh, this is another trip to the long boxes. Uh, pulled out some uh, Marvel and DC horror and mystery and sci fi and whatever else I can get my hands on. Uh, this first one, I don't know if you could really call it a horror comic, but it's kind of in the mystery genre. Uh, but this is Man Bat number one. It's just a spin off of the Batman books. Pretty cool covers, Jim Apparel, and the really cool thing, uh, you have Steve Ditko doing the art. So, pretty cool book, kind of overlooked. Okay, here's Fear number one. I think the first six issues of this book were uh, all square bound. They are all like the 25 cent giants, uh, but they got these great old... Uh, Kirby and Ditko, Don Hickory Prince, The Monsters. So these are really cool books. <clears throat> and from DC, Weird Mystery Tales, number one. Sorry about the glare. And he changed these bags, they're getting kind of wrinkled. House of Mystery 251. Very nice Neil Adams cover. I really love these books. They didn't make many of these uh, dollar comics in the House of Mystery title, but uh, a few they did were great. You had like 80 pages of all new stories. You had some great covers. Good bargain. Okay, here we have. DC 100 page super spectacular number four weird mystery tales now this is actually the first issue of DC 100 page spectacular now there's a few articles I read about uh, where number one through three started that it might have been uh, in another title or another uh, run of annuals or something but actually this title started with issue number four and this has got some uh, good old mystery and horror reprints in it. Uh, great Bernie Wrights and cover. That's a very cool book. And House of Mystery 202. Mike Kaluta cover. House of Mystery 201. Another clue to cover. Some really good stories in this one. House of Mystery 204. Another great Rison cover. Uh, another copy of 251 for some reason. And number 252. Another Adams cover. And number 255. That's another great Bernie Wrightson cover. I think this was like an unused cover from like 1971 or something. And, uh, they finally used it maybe seven or eight years later on this. Hey, back to Marvel, Giant Size Chillers number three. I'm not sure. This may be a rights and cover. I might be wrong on that, but. Regardless, cool comic. Night of the Gargoyles. A giant sized children's number two. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been drinking water for like an hour 
uh, we had an early Thanksgiving dinner at my mother-in-law's because uh, she's going in for surgery and, uh, Tuesday, so she wasn't going to have Thanksgiving on Thursday. So uh, if you would just kind of keep her in your thoughts. She's having a hip replacement surgery. It's, she's already had one, so this is uh, this is the second time she's been through it. Okay, your giant size chiller is number one. That's a that's a low grade copy. This one's pretty beat up. There we go. I think that's the original I bought as a kid. And here's a higher grade copy here, number one. Here's another number one of a different giant size chillers. Curse of Dracula. Dracula's daughter Lilith. This is a really cool book. Especially for like Tomb of Dracula. Giant size creatures number one. Featuring werewolf by night and tiger. I don't know if you really classify this horror, but it is a, it's a really cool story. This uh, part of Mike Kaluta's run, Denny O'Neill on Shadow, it's number two. This is my all-time favorite Shadow story, Freak Show Killers. You know, I've still got the original coverless copy that I had. That's just a great cover, and it's a really, really great story. Okay, DC Special number 11. Beware the monsters are coming. Oh crap, they're here. Remember the Neil Adams cover, giant size issue. There we go. Another great title, Chamber of Darkness number one. Supernatural Thrillers number five, first appearance of the Living Mummy. I think Val Merrick might have done the art on this. And Supernatural Thrillers number one. It, the thing that couldn't die. It's like another riff off Swamp Thing or Man Thing. Closely rated to the heap. And probably a steaming pile of it. Okay, Marvel Spotlight number two. First Werewolf by Night. Another Neil Adams cover. Okay, Monster Frankenstein number one. I love this series. There's only like 18 issues. Uh, a lot of great Mike Plug artwork. Another great rights and cover, House of Mystery 195. Bad Out of Hell. I keep looking for meatloaf in the background, but I don't see him, so. Okay, House of Mystery 192. Eighty-nine. 
Another Neil Adams. I think they looks like they uh, might have reproduced this one right straight from his pencils. A lot of it, anyway. Looks pretty cool cover. Number 185. There's a lot of really good stories in these by a lot of great artists, uh, but you know, these are worth getting just for the covers alone. Which I know is a lot of reason uh, we buy comics in the first place. Hey, that's a great cover, and you just, the story's kind of secondary. But uh, these uh, stories are really great in these too. Number 187, Neil Adams cover, I think you've got some uh, Alex Toth work in this one. Okay, Crypt of Shadows number one, looks like Gil Kane on the cover there. Cool little title. Okay. We have Creatures on the Loose, number 10. First Prince King Cole. Tomb of Dracula, 43. Bernie Wrightson on the cover. Witching Hour number one. And for some reason, another copy of Fear number one. Okay, a little bit of sci fi here. Ventures on Planet of the Apes number one. So I'm a big Apes fan. There was only 11 issues of this, and actually it was, uh, they reprinted this from the old black and white magazine, and they just did like uh, the first couple of movies adaptions, but they did them in color in this book. I'm not sure, I might have shown this one before. Supernatural Thrillers, number three, Valley of the Worm. That's one of my all-time favorite Gil Kane covers. That's just beautiful. And unexpected number 112. I think that's one of my very favorite covers on this title. Okay, a little bit more sci-fi. Amazing Adventures, number 18. War of the Worlds. First Prince of Kill Raven, I think. Uh, Neil Adams art in this issue. And here's a reader copy of uh, Where Monsters Dwell, number one. Creatures Rome number one. Another cool reprint title. Lots of good Kirby and Ditko stuff in these two. Okay, uh, Journey into Mystery number one. Second series. Another cool picture frame cover. Mm. Not sure who did that, but it's a really cool cover. More sci fi, Worlds Unknown number one. It's 
didn't last very long. This was either five or eight issues. I've got the rest of them somewhere, but another cool little book. And last thing I got here is uh, Black Magic number one. Got some great reprints, Joe Simon, Jack Kirby. On the cover, Head of the Family. <laughs> cool stuff. Okay, guys, as always, I uh, appreciate all comments, questions. Uh, still enjoying everybody's videos. Uh, so, onward and upward.